Hello Blender Maniacs! In this free tutorial I will show you how to create this beautiful eye in an easy way. But you need to obey three rules. Rule number one. Do not make sharp borders between colors. Borders need to be soft. Rule number two, make layers. So put one color on another. Do not afraid to experiment. And uh, rule number three, invite to your work chaos. Mother nature likes chaos. You can see that upper part of an eye looks like clouds, but this is an eye, no sky, but looks the same. Crazy it is, it is isn't it? Now I will start. I will click I and hide it. If I click shift and right mouse button, I will mm, Add in this place UV sphere. You don't don't bother that you don't have my model. It is not necessary. I will show you the whole process creating I. But this model is because it will be looking much better uh, in the final result. Rotate Rx 90 degrees, S to scale, maybe something like this, 3, GY, 1, G, GY, something like this, looks good, looks very good. Okay. Now I will hide everything except my eye. So I click slash on keyboard and I will create cornea. Cornea important part of an eye. So I need to add ring, control R and move it close to another. Three on keyboard, GY to move it a bit left. And now I click vertex on the pole. What pole is it? North pole, North pole or South pole? This is the question. I don't know. Shade smooth and it, this is it. Now, because I want to texture paint, I need my UVs to see how it looks, how it look. Uh, this looks awful, but I can control how it looks. So I will click edge, click alt, edge in the middle and mark seam. Now I can click A, U, unwrap and I will get two equal parts and this is what I want. Now I can paint. I have good UVs and I can go to texture paint, add the texture, base color, Y times 2, height times 2 and OK. I will go to viewport shading and click T to see my panel on the left and click draw tool and I want to create my new palette, color palette. Click new and we will start changing fall off to sphere. Why to sphere? Because uh, when I clicking mouse Mm. and I have black color 
I get a result very fast. But if I choose smooth, I have smaller spot. It's too soft. So uh, I control Z. So I will choose sphere. You can experiment with these settings. Do what you what you want. Uh, I have my palette. I'm clicking plus because I want to have it and click one, two, three. And I can click slash to see if it is too big. I can change size. Control Z. So a bit smaller. One, two, three. And now Control Z. Maybe something like this. And now looks better. Okay. Next part is to add cool color. Maybe something like blue. Some experiments. One, two, three, four, five, six. Looks good. And now I will click plus to add to my palette. And I go back to my black color. And I will create pupil in the middle. Black spot. One, two, three. We can save our texture because uh, it could disappear in Blender. So I base col base sphere base color. Uh, you can see that uh, it will appear what I paint. It will appear um, on this. E mesh on my UVs. So I can click image, save as, and I can choose whatever I want, maybe on desktop, maybe in folder, never mind. Save as, and it's ready. Now I should add more colors. So I will go back to my color and choose brighter color plus and make some spots. One here, one here, one here. Maybe smaller here. Something like this. And I want to do black spots in upper part. So I will choose black, maybe strength to 0 0.5. And I click, click, click. And on the top, darker. I can change to one. something like this. Uh, 
And now it's time to make a borders soft. So I click soften and I click mouse button and move the mouse. Nothing special, but you can see these borders are blurred. The sharp borders are blurred. Okay, something like this is good. And what is important rule that I didn't use? Chaos. So invite it. Random moves. Maybe here. Maybe here. Random moves. Don't care about it. Move, move like you want, experiment, and be happy with it. This whole process is about fun. Do not afraid. Do what you want. It is your work. Of course, do not spend too much time because you need to eat, sleep, and so on. <laughs> okay. Maybe something like this is good. Okay. Okay. Enough. And I will repeat this process here. making chaos. Okay, next part is to add two white spots because light enters the eye. So I click draw white and I make one spot here, a little big and smaller spot here. Oh, something like this and now I will use smear to add more chaos to reshape oh, something like this and this is it it looks much much better but I think I will add one more color in this lower part. Draw. I will choose some lighter 
maybe this. Maybe not. Okay. We will try. Something like this. <laughs> it's too different. Okay, this and this. And maybe, maybe saturation. I will change something like this here, here, and here, and here. And I will smear a bit. Okay. Looks good, looks good. And soften to make it soft. Okay. Now it looks much better. Beautiful eye. And when I will go back to my model, you can see how it looks. Much better. Because upper part is darker, we can also uh, draw some uh, bright, some dark, um, too much, maybe this and strength to zero four, we can add some shadow and it will be looking more natural, something like this. And now if I add mirror, generate mirror, you can see it looks very good. To be more realistic in material properties, you should change roughness to 0 0.1 because in I you can see yourself and now it looks very good. If you want to create skin or something from other nature you should obey these rules, what I mentioned at the beginning, and everything will be fine and you will be happy, Res result will be very good. Thank you for watching and see you next time.